Hi everybody, I'm MMFQ Death, and I'm back with another video after a long, long time. But, so, I've been really into Pokemon lately, and I saw this game on Twitter and Reddit and stuff like that, and I figured, what a perfect way to finally record something again. Uh, one of the most popular things I ever did back when I actually used to upload reliably was Pixelmon. Um, so I figured Xenoverse seems like a perfect thing to kind of dive back into content creation again. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. And I definitely just reset the language. Okay, so here's one of the first options that we're going to run into. Um, we could either do classic mode, which is just your standard like Pokemon red, blue, yellow, uh, all the way up to... I want to say black and white, um, which is just whatever Pokemon is on the field. That's who gets experience. If they participate in the battle, they do. If they don't. Uh, and then we have modern mode, which is more like Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, why am I blanking? Sword and Shield. <laughs> and more recently, the remakes that are coming out, um, Brilliant Diamond and whatever the other one is. So, this basically gives us EXP all. This one doesn't. <sighs> While I would normally go with a classic mode type experience, I'm going to do modern mode because I'm going to be honest, I don't want to grind party members constantly. I've seen a lot of footage of this game, and it seems like with classic mode, you are consistently very underleveled, and it requires a lot of grinding. Whereas modern mode kind of keeps you a little bit ahead, so it's still kind of cheap, but it's not like a normal main series Pokemon game where turning on EXP all, or not having the option to turn it off, uh, really just screws the experience because you're just overleveled constantly unless you're swapping out party members. So anyway, we're going with modern mode. And I guess let's go ahead and take our first view. I can't wait any longer. Sir, come here, please. Ah, <sighs> please tell me. I have great news for you. Follow me, come on. Hopefully the, like, half-ass girl voice thing I'm doing isn't, like, too off-putting. Here we are. Let's play a game. Could you guess the sex of your baby? Do you think it's a boy or a girl? So... While I dig the pink hair, I gotta go with a boy. I believe it's a boy. Congratulations, sir. You guessed it. It really is a beautiful boy. Come with me. Versal, I'll leave the two of you alone for a bit. Clover, how do you feel? Look at the splendid child you gave birth to. <clears throat> look how he smiles. You two look very alike. Dear, what do you want to call him? I want you to choose his name. I'm sure you'll find a lovely one. <laughs> okay, dude. Um, well, I'm going to go with what I normally do. <laughs> what a lovely name, guys. <laughs> How about death, honey? <laughs> death, it sounds fantastic. <laughs> I knew that you wouldn't let me down. <coughs> Clover, don't overdo it. You should rest now. Time passed and death grew, spending days in a joyful family. Oh wait, should I be doing like an announcer voice for this? Five years later. Death, get up. Mom and I need to talk to you. Oh no, are mommy and daddy getting a divorce? We've decided it's time to show you some of the world out there. So today, we're going to take a tour of the Nova Ranch. Okay, so not a divorce. Come on, kid. Let's go. Please be careful. Dad has no chill for careful. Nah. Look what a beautiful day it is. This fresh air always cheers me up. Come on, let's go, Death. I'm going to show you around our ranch.
come this way. Our first stop will be the farm. So one of my favorite things about this game is I feel like it uh, does a really good job. I'm not going to read every single line of dialogue, by the way. So some of them I'm just going to leave on the screen and I'll just like take a second to skip over. Uh, but it does a really good job of like incorporating Fakemon into a realistic aspect of Pokemon. Whereas typically I tend to stay away from ROMs or like even custom games like this where they have Fakemon in general. Uh, normally they're just really off-putting and they don't really interest me. Whereas this is one of the first times that like I thought it was a pretty interesting concept. And they did a really good job with the actual designs and typing. They don't seem like crazy out of the way. Um, just genuinely really cool. I also really love the attention to detail that they put in where like every character has this like full blown character art. Like that's crazy cool. You don't normally see that in a fan game. Do you see this little memorial death? It was erected in honor of your grandfather who left us years ago. But you're still too young for these stories. Well, then why did you just tell me them? And that's it. Now let's get back home. Our dad's not the sharpest tool in the shed, apparently. I'm going to tell you about your dead grandfather, but you're too young for that. Okay, well, this is an interesting way to give us our first Pokemon. Okay, so this is one thing that I'm not exactly hyped about is the introduction of sound, mainly because I always thought sound type was a kind of dumb idea, but I can see why people want it. Um, honestly, I really like the grass fairy typing. But I'm not a huge fan of Shy Leon in general in his design. Trish out looks really cool, but I don't know about the sound typing. And Shulong, I really like the design is kind of meh on the base version, but I haven't seen any of its evolutions. And Water Dragon is a dope typing, especially for a starter. Plus, it's named Shulong. <sighs> Alright, I think what we do is we roll a d20, <laughs> and I'll say, uh, or actually, I can't do a d20, I can do a d12, yeah, okay, so I'll roll a d12, okay, so we'll say, uh, 1 through 3, or no, 1 through 4 is Shy Leon, um, 5 through... Eight, yeah, five through eight is Trish out, and then nine through twelve is Shulong. All right, so seven, so Trish out, okay. The dice gods have spoken. We are choosing Trish out as our starter Pokemon. <laughs> Shout out to any D and D nerds out there. <laughs> I definitely don't just have a bag of dice sitting on my desk. There's no shot that that is a thing. And if you say otherwise, I would call you correct because you'd, you'd be right. Anyway, so Trish out is our starter. Yep. Um, I'm not, I don't even know if we get the option to nickname yet, but if we do, I am not going to because I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't think our starter Pokemon can take a Tyranitar, but I could be wrong. Okay, we're just... Yup. Oh, it was a... But he's there. Uh... I, I don't think this is adding up. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I have control now. Okay. 
Oh man, it is so weird playing a Pokemon game again that uh, doesn't have free movement. <laughs> like, has pixel locked movement. Nothing bad about it. Uh, just something very different from what I'm used to lately. Honestly, I could probably use my D-pad. Uh, you're finally awake, sleepy boy. Happy birthday, Death. Uh, actually, it's not my birthday for another month. You're a bit early. Too bad that your dad is not here to see how much you've grown. You know he's always abroad for work. Oh, he didn't die to the Tyranitar? Darling, what's wrong? You seem upset. Well, you see, there there was this... I went to Grandpa's grave, got told I was too young, got my starter from these random balls that were out in the woods that Dad walked up to and touched and then said, yeah, pick one. Uh, then Tyranitar came out of there, and then there was a giant flash of light. I'm pretty sure Dad's dead. Uh, and then I woke up thinking that it was just a nightmare, but my Pokemon that I got in the dream was actually in my room. So honestly, kind of tripped out, Mom. If you could, like, do something about that, that'd be great. But I, I do you do you know where Dad's corpse is? Is he buried next to Grandpa now? Because like I think I'm gonna check that. Well, the time has come. Come sit with me. Is Dad actually dead? Hold up. It's probably not the best day, but I think you're old enough for this story now. What you told me isn't just a dream. Eleven years ago, your father decided to bring you outside our ranch. I was pretty against that, and at the same time, so worried about you two. Dad was with you, though, so that reassured me. However, that day, no one came back. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what is with, like, none of this is adding up. I am here, currently. Days after, Nana Flora knocked on the door in the middle of the night. What a relief finding you at the front door. You were unconscious and had a ball with you. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Okay, we didn't come back that night. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. But your father was not there. I haven't seen him since that day. I can call. Dad's dead. I knew it. Rip, dude. I'm sorry I waited so long to tell you about this. After years of lies. Am I going to be a moody teen now? Darling. Are you out of your mind? How can you think of such a thing? What did I think of? You're not ready to go look for your father yet. You're still a child. We are working on it. I and Aster. It's not that easy for us adults either. By the way, shout outs to the people who say either and neither correctly. If you say either and neither, you're incorrect. <laughs> Don't insist, Death. There is no... <laughs> I love that my character's name is Death. I literally, it's so hard to say... <laughs> doing these voices whenever I'm reading a dialogue line that references my character just because like your mom walking up to you and being like death how dare you <laughs> if I were to lose you too my only child I <sighs> angry ellipses Okay, that's not... Dude, go to your room now. All right. Yeah, I, I'm done with that. <laughs> Why there were two sides in a row? I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to act that one out. Oh, what a happy picture. Yo, what up, homie? Oh, Trish outside. No, don't be sad. I'm not. I'm only a little sad. I'm only just a small bit of depression. It's fine. You you want to play the switch? There's yeah. I'll play the switch with you. Okay. Oh oh. All right. You're suggesting we commit suicide. Gotcha. I mean, jump out the window to safety. It's yeah. It's only a two-story jump. Like I'm sure we'll be fine. Ow. Man, that was a f that was a large jump. We scaled a tree. Okay, cool, cool. Nope, I am not gonna remember its name if I give it a nickname. So no, I would not like to do that. What's in our mailbox? Oh, 
Oh, I can't even check. Okay, cool. Bye, Mom. I'm out. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to find Dad, bring him back. Go check on Grandpa's grave real quick because I saw an item behind it that apparently has been there for seven years. Cool. So, are these like... Okay, I can't get back to that tree. I want to... Uh... Oh, oh, look at that. Your mommy finally let you go, huh? She probably realized she was shielding you too much. <laughs> well, you're about to start a journey that will make you run into a bunch of new Pokemon. Let me show you something then. As you can see, the grass here is taller than usual. That's where wild Pokemon live. But don't worry, you can catch them with special gizmos called Pokeballs. Here, take some. However, you cannot catch a healthy Pokemon. Well, that's that's actually factually incorrect. You can, it's just harder. After having battled for a bit, try to launch a Pokeball and cross your fingers to catch it. Why don't you give it a try? Whoa, it literally... Oh, okay, dude. Do I have to catch a Weedle? I kind of want to prove Grandma wrong real quick. <sighs> Unless they, like, coded this in, this should almost guaranteed catch. A level 2 Weedle has a... Yeah. A, like a... Yeah, okay. So, no problem. Yeet. Uh, oh, sweet. I can just send it straight to PC. Can I nickname it and then send it to PC? Sweet. Playing with Pokemon is so much fun, isn't it? It makes me feel younger, even. Okay, that's it. That's all the... Alright, cool. I, uh, I can't run or anything. Yeah. Uh... So where am I supposed to... Is this going to tell me about ledges? No. Okay, good. I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go. Oh. Oh. Mommy mad. Did you really want to run away without saying a word? What a childish behavior. Mom, you're sounding a bit... Demonic? I know you miss your dad. Don't you think I feel the same death? It's not easy to raise a child on your own. Do you really think a newbie like you could do more than two adults? You don't even imagine how dangerous is the... What? You don't even imagine how dangerous is the world... Okay, that's a mistranslation. You can't even imagine how dangerous the world is out there. Fixed it. Angry ellipses! I imagine Trish out sounds like... Trish! So Trish out agrees with you. Angry ellipses. It had to happen sooner or later. Normal ellipses. I see talk is cheap with you, Death. Well then. Prove me you're worthy of this with a Pokemon. Wait, we're fighting our mom? Yo, let's throw it down, dog. Alright, let's do it. God says mom in parentheses, like in case you forgot. This is your mother. You are beating up your mother. Uh, yeah, why not? That's a cool animation for Ember. Wait, what? Yeah, if you can, like, not. Okay, at least that's not very effective. All right. Oh, sweet. Second turn wake up? Get it. And rip. 
Also, mom, you talked a lot of smack for having a level five. Oh, wait. No, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, one level five Jigglypuff. You talked a lot of smack. Happy ellipses. <laughs> I just, I love that, like, they went through the trouble of making our character, like, there, and, like, actually having, like, a dialogue box, just to only have a emotional, like, an expression face, and then ellipses with an exclamation point. So, I, I can confirm for the entire playthrough of this, every time our character appears on screen with an ellipses and an expression, I am saying it. I don't care if it gets old, I don't care if you don't like it, I'm doing it. Just for posterity's sake, I've now made it a thing. It's happening. Maybe I'll put an ellipses counter. Although I probably missed a lot. Oh yeah, no, every time the Pokemon makes a cry without the po yeah, no, okay. Excited ellipses! Very cool. So, is there like an early bird Pokemon? I don't think we're gonna go much further for today. Like, I'm already at 25 minutes, and I don't really want at least the first episode to be insanely long. Like, this probably won't actually be 25 minutes. Like, realistically, after editing, it'll probably be closer to 20. But... Yeah, I love the inclusion of achievements, too. That's really cool. Alright, so let's see. Early bird Pokemon? A Spark Owl. Okay. Electric Burb? Heck yeah. Um, do I really even need to weaken you, to be honest? Come on. Join the team. Wow, that was kind of pathetic, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I figured I could live at least one. Uh, so, is it like X to Y? No, nope. okay. But I can go down to it. Yeah, okay. Alright, fair enough. Come on. There we go. I also should... Eh. Okay, that was word vomit. I also should probably check the uh, natures on both my starter and this. This I can fix. The starter I can't really do anything about. Because I am not resetting. How do I... Okay. That's interesting. I don't like that. B is how you open up the menu. Okay. I don't think that there's anything I can do about that. So, what do you have... Okay, that could be better. I'd really like my speed to not be a down. Okay, but at least it's special attack boosting. <laughs> Quiet nature for the sound Pokemon. Rip. Okay, your defense now is special. Yeah, that's a useless nature. Okay. From defense lowering attacks. Okay, that's ironic. So, I'm trying to... I would assume it's going to be a special attacker. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to catch another Spark Owl. That is not a great one. But I will do that off screen. Uh, so you guys don't have to watch me catching Spark Owls. Uh, and then we will be back next time. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If not, um, tell me why down in the comments below. Stuff like that. So anyway, it's been fun. Glad to be back. Um, and I hope to continue this series. Okay, so post-episode Ryan here, few things have changed. Uh, I did not realize that my start recording key uh, was the key that resets me back to the main menu. Uh, so I, I now know that and I definitely didn't have to go through the entire game up to the point where I was last time again. 
Uh, but a couple things have changed, so I figured I'd go through those real quick at the end of the episode. Uh, so first off, we have a different nature on our Trish out. Um, we ended up with special attack boost, special defense down, which is awesome. Um, I also caught this thing just to see, but its nature is terrible. It, it has an item, so that's cool. I'm going to take that, but it's, it's probably going to go into the box. An attack down nature on a... Uh, fighting normal type terrible um also i caught a uh spark owl again and also i decided to name all the pokemon this time like nicknames so mixtape because fire and sound right my mixtape fire easy um i didn't realize it was a girl so ignore that <laughs> uh and then amps is what i'm probably gonna name the spark owl when i actually get what i want this one has a terrible nature like absolutely abysmal but it has a great ability being static this one has a decent nature. I A speed up on an electric type is normally not needed because it's going to have speed anyway. I would prefer special attack up. But with that said, um, that one would be doable, but it has big pecs, which is a stupid ability, and I don't want it. So I'm out of Pokeballs, so I can't do anything more now. I, I was going to try to like do the whole catching a new spark out off camera type deal, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that until next episode. So for now, all we really have that it at least is worth keeping in my opinion for the playthrough, uh, cause I, I'm not going to like go crazy with it, but I at least want a good nature for a Pokemon I'm going to be using, um, is mixtape still. That's all we really have. Uh, the other ones are just going into a box or getting released or something. So anyway, uh, that's all I really had to add. So anyway, have a good one.